Hi you guys, quick video on the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Uh, quick demonstration on how to easily connect your Note 3 to your iMac, uh, MacBook or any Apple uh, device running OS X and easily transfer files back and forwards. What you need to do is get along to the Play Store and uh, download AirDroid. And once you've got AirDroid on your device, whether it's your uh, N3, your Galaxy S4 or any Samsung Galaxy device, you need to open the application on your phone, tablet, whatever. <laughs> And you can see straight away you'll get a splash screen. On the splash screen it will say open web address. And now where it says open web address you need to copy either of those two web addresses. The web airdroid.com one is the best. And you need to do exactly as it's written on the screen. No www dot. Just write exactly as it's on the screen. Once you get it onto your computer, save it into your favourite places so you can access it any time. So we'll click on the screen. What you need to do as well is make sure both your device and your PC are both run on the same Wi-Fi network otherwise you'll get an error message asking you to sign in and uh, sign up for a, a, a cloud account uh, so quickly uh, I'll double check mine's on the same uh, network because uh, I've got multiple uh, Wi-Fi networks so I'll just double check we are in case it jumped to another one and it has so I'll put it back on that one and connect bear with me a second Once you're on the same uh, Wi-Fi network, you'll see at the bottom there's a scan QR code. Click on the bottom, scan QR code. And on the screen that you've got on your computer, you'll see a barcode to scan. Get it into focus, it should scan. And what you'll find is your uh, phone, or lap uh, phone tablet is connected to your laptop. And you can see at the bottom of the screen, you'll see LAN connection mode. Now, you, like I said before, you need to make sure both your tablet or your phone is connected on the same Wi-Fi system as your PC or your iMac or your MacBook so that you can connect. Once you connect, you can actually put your phone down out of the way. It's connected. It's very, very fast. It's as fast as a cable connection. And once you've got it connected on your uh, screen, you can see that you've got various different things. You've got files, URLs, clipboard, application, uh, different things. It shows you how much free space you've got on both the internal memory and also the SD card and what you find you can go to photos you can see all the photos that are on your device quite easily now what I will say once you get to this point with any of these files you can go photos you can do music you can find all the applications that are running on your uh, device so you can see all the applications uh, you can transfer anything work files anything you want to back and forwards quite easily uh, so we'll uh, just close a couple of these windows down quickly. I'm not going to make this too long-winded. You can play around with it. It's fairly straightforward. It's all free. There's no charge for uh, the application. And you can see that all your photos that are on your uh, phone can be downloaded quite easily. What you need to do is to remember that your phone is acting like a satellite and your PC or your MacBook is uh, your main station. So if you're sending something to uh, your phone, you need to upload if you're getting something from your phone, you need to download. Imagine your uh, phone becomes the internet and you're downloading from it and uploading to it. So if I pick a photograph and I click download, uh, pick another one, and we pick download there. You can see on the bottom left of the screen we've got a download. And what it will do on your uh, OS X device, it will download it basically into your download folder. We can click on that from there. We should be able to open it. If it opens a separate window, and there you can see we've downloaded the photograph. And likewise, if you want to upload to your phone, uh, like I say, imagine your phone or your tablet is the internet and it's in the cloud, and you're uploading off your computer to your phone, you're downloading from your phone. So if you remember them to upload to your phone and download from your phone, you can't go far wrong. Uh, we'll quickly get out of that. Lots of other features. You can actually uh, send uh, text messages from your PC screen directly through your phone. It's very, very quick. If you've got a music file, we'll try and... Uh, Go to my music settings on uh, my phone quickly. Bearing in mind I've got a, an awful lot of albums and we'll look, uh, uh, try and find an album so we can go artist album. Let's have a look. And doo -doo -doo. Same again, you can just pick a track and you can download it. And you can see that the track there is downloaded, it's already done, it's very, very fast. Uh, goes at the speed of your router in your uh, home situation or office situation. And basically this is the way you uh, transfer data back and forth very, very quickly. No cables, no messing around, no trying to get your uh, 
Samsung device to uh, connect to your Mac and pulling your hair out. Very, very simple to use. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, subscribe to my channel and I'll get more videos out to you in the near future. Leave comments below uh, and uh, let me know how you get on using this. And thanks for watching.